which were quite a hassle indeed, and I did not enjoy doing that. I am also a packaging whore. We should totally hack this one. No! F off and die! Hello and welcome back my little darlings to another video here on my channel, yes indeed. And today is actually a nerdy video, a tech unboxing, and of course if I haven't said this already, Happy New Year's! Yes indeed, you might have seen the first video of this week and you might have seen my apartment tour when I fully furnished it the 31st of December, yes indeed, oh my lord that went really weird in my mouth right there. But anyways, I hope you had a wonderful New Year's if I haven't asked you that already. Comment down below how your New Year's went and what your New Year's resolutions are for this year. Yes indeed. So, what I'm gonna do today is actually unbox a package with you. This little package right here. And I'm also in my new studio, so I am sorry if the light a little bit bluish, I have new studio lights, and it's a little bit bluish, you know, I haven't, you know, gotten the white balance in the camera right just yet. Yes, indeed. But anyways, with uh, that said, I see that the camera settings are completely off, so you have to bear with me during this video, yes indeed. But we are gonna unbox this package anyways. And as you have seen in the title, you probably already know what this is. But this is a capture card, which I cannot unbox without a knife, so I will be right back. Unprepared to the gods today, yes indeed. But I'm gonna knife this open, and I... Um, I'm not sure which way is the right way, I do believe that that right here is the right way. So let me just slice everything up so I can destroy it, everything in this boxy boxy. Oh my lord, this was the tiniest little box for this big box. Yes indeed, so in this box right here, there is an even smaller box and that is the Avermedia LGP Lite. It looks like this, and what that is, it's a capture card. So, when I plug this into my console, you can record the gameplay onto your computer, and then I can make a video all about it, you know, yes, indeed. And right down here it says, it's prohibited by law to uh, use a HDMI splitter to get past the blocking going on with the HDMI cables these days. But they are actually telling you that you can do it, so you know, I don't know why the warning is there at all. The package includes LGP Lite, quick installation guide and a mini USB cable. And it can record up to 1920 x 1080, yes indeed, at a maximum of 30 frames per second, yes indeed. So, let's slice this bad boy right open when I have given you that too long uh, intro and you know explanation about the box without even opening it. So, I'm slicing right in the lining right there, you know. They melt the plastic together and it gets a little bit of a ridge down. And there I usually poke my knife into and just wrap it all up, yes indeed. And now we can use, you know, like this. Yes, indeed. So, this is the package. It's a really nice, smooth, velvety box with the Aver Media in a glossy print right there. I am also a packaging whore, even though this is, um, you know, tech unboxing. But still, let's flip it over so you can see when I'm unboxing it. Yes, indeed. Is that the wrong way? Yes, it is. Is this the right way? I am doing something completely wrong. Oh my lord, I hate packaging which doesn't give you clear instructions on how to open it. Ah, now I open it the wrong way. So, it's like a box like that, I try to open it right there. Inside of this little guy we have quick installation guide, don't use that. And here on top is the micro USB cable, my mini, mini USB cable. Yes indeed, and then you take this cardboard foam thingy out of the box. And here we have the capturing device itself. Yes, indeed. And it's no peel porn here, just take that away. Look like that. And well, you know, this is a capturing device. You plug one end into the Xbox, one end into the computer, and then this processes the input so the computer can record it. I don't know if that made any sense for everybody out there who knows what this is and what I'm talking about, but I need one of these to record for my Xbox, because you can't plug the Xbox straight into the computer and record like that. I have tried, it doesn't work. 
So I needed to buy this one. This retails for 90 euros. It, that is what I bought it for at least. It's the light model. It just plug it in, one click start and it records you know into the computer. So that is what I'm gonna use to record my new gaming videos this year because I'm gonna do a lot more gaming videos with you my darlings. I have a shitload of Xbox games that I have not played and uh, you know I can play them with you at least you know so they doesn't go to waste. But I'm gonna go plug that in straight away and you are gonna see some clips from this device. Yes indeed. So stay tuned my darlings because now there is a transition going on. So my darlings, as you can see we are now at the Bioshock menu, yes indeed, and you can see I am on my Xbox 360. Yes indeed, and there is my beautiful, beautiful gamer face. I am not uh, gonna have a face cam today because I feel like crap. So uh, I will just play a little bit with you my darlings, you know, check uh, if it's good or if it's laggy, you know, I won't notice that until after I have played and I have reviewed the footage, but all in all it seems to be working. So now I am on my way into Dionysus Park. Yes indeed, and this is Bioshock 2 we are gonna play together today. I have played quite a bit on this game, you know, but but um, I thought, you know, just for testing's sake, I will play the game I have in the disk drive already, you know. So forgive me for uh, that, you know. Yes, indeed. The transfer is a little bit slow, you know. If I move like this, you know, I can see a quite a bit of lag, you know, between the console and the computer. But, you know, since I am watching the TV, I, you know, don't care about that. So let's just see what we are gonna do today. Yes, indeed. Where are my directions? Right up there. Yes, indeed. Rescue or harvest three little sisters. But now we are gonna go into Imago Fine Arts and then the J. Fisher Gallery. But I do not know which one I should do first. Let's go to the J. Fisher Fine Arts. Yes, indeed. I am sorry if the sound is a little bit double. I have sound on on the TV and there the goddamn Houdini splicers are right away. Oh my god, do I have something good I can shoot them with? No. Oh my lord, what should I do in here? Oh my god. Ah, there the daddy is. Hello, daddy. Oh my god, I need to fight you real bad, but you know, let's see. Uh, oh no, I don't have any Eve, so I can't, you know, hypnotize the big daddy. But I will have to, you know, shoot this little lady with armor piercing rounds instead. And there they were empty. I'm out of ammo. Please. Fuck you in the ass. Where is she? There she is. Oh my god, yes. That is good for me. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my lord, my darlings. I really hope this is working good for you, you know. It's not lagging or anything, but what I can see, it's actually working quite nicely indeed. Why does it always say I'm disconnected from live? Let's see if I can find some fine and dandy stuff in here. Because uh, I need some stuff so I can kill the big daddy and take his little sister. Because I need that little sister. Schwester, the little schwester. Oh look, some Eve just for me. And drill fuel. And you know, this one. We should totally hack this one. No! F off and die. F suck my little tiny... Oh my lord, where is that thingy thing? Uh, uh, where is it? Where is the turret controls? No, I don't want this. I don't want this. Jump. Oh my lord. No, I don't want to use my first aid kit. Shit. Oh, I'm all the way over here. Oh my god. No, that is not so far away. I, why am I whining like a little bitch? Oh my god. So much booze for me. And I have the booze hound tonic so I can just drink as much booze as I want and it won't affect my health. But I do not know where I should be going. It's very hard when you are this drunk, you know. Those little splicer boys are really annoying because they aren't dead always. Sometimes they are uh, a little bit alive, you know, so they play dead and then you run past them and then they resurrect, you know, and start chasing you and that is quite unsettling actually. No, no, no. Okay, you're calling for a new little sister. 
Here is some Eve for me. And a tonic. Ooh, drill specialist. Ooh, who needs guns when you have got a drill and nearly unlimited plasmid power? Significant decreases cost of plasmids, but limits weapon selection to the drill, hack tool, and camera. Well, you know, I don't have any ammo and stuff like that, you know, so that might be good for now. Who the f***? No, that weren't me. No, that weren't me. Why are you shooting at me? Who tried to goddamn hack the healing machine? Or did I stand in the way of some kind of security camera? I don't know. Oh, my lordy lord. Oh, no! What the actual shit they did well, the goddamn door open. Well, now is probably a good time to see if that goddamn tonic is doing anything good. Well, you know, it doesn't cost almost any Eve, so that is kind of nice, but I didn't, you know, get it complete. Oh my lord, this changed my life experience, you know. There the big daddy is. I am gonna steal his little sister. He is gonna call for a different little sister now, I do believe, and then we are gonna just kill him and steal her. And then I am gonna, you know, say good night to you, my darlings, in the studio, of course. Yes, indeed, and give you the final thoughts of this little capture card. Yes, indeed. Can you please call on a little sister then? Ah! There is a security camera up here. Let's see if we can remotely hack it while he collects his little sister. Let's... Yes! He collected his new little sister. Now let's kill him off! Come on, you big bitch! Can't you run any faster than this? Well, it's not consuming so much Eva I can die at least, so that is good. Yes! Well, let's adopt you, yes indeed. And with that happy ending, I am just gonna save and I'm gonna see you right in the studio. So my darlings, we are back in my studio and we are gonna review this little capture card. Yes indeed, this is the first impression. So overall, I am happy with the product. It did what it should do, it recorded the gameplay smoothly and the file weren't too big, I do believe 2.3 gigabytes. But that can be easily, you know, changed with your settings that you can choose yourself. Let's start with the setup. Yes indeed, it was quite easy. One USB cable into the computer, one HDMI cable into the Ava Media, and one HDMI out of the Ava Media back into the TV so you can watch what you're playing without the lag. Yes indeed, because you do lag when you record and you are watching the recording on your computer screen, or at least it did for me. So that is actually quite a nice feature, and I do believe many capture card have this, I am almost sure of it. However, I did have to download the software from Evo Media's website, you know, which is not an issue, you know. You can't fit everything when it has no internal memory, you can't expect it to have the software included in the packaging. But Evo Media's website is quite straightforward, it was quite easy to find where I should download the software from, installation went smoothly, and you know, it it just worked when I installed it, so that worked quite nice. The software itself is also quite nice, it has quite a simple layout, it gives you the options of having, you know, express mode or, you know, whistle mode, which are, if you're a little bit more experienced with settings and that sort of stuff, so I choose the whistling mode, where I could choose the frame rate, the bit rate, the resolution, and probably the end result file format, which I didn't do, so I ended up with a .ts file. It is used to store information on Blu-ray discs and all of media. But when you are gonna edit it, some editing softwares don't recognize a .ts file, so I actually have to convert it to a .mp4 file, which was quite a hassle indeed, and I did not enjoy doing that because the stupidity of me thought that mp4 is the standard format for video these days, you know, at home videos from cameras and that sort of stuff, you know, so me and my stupidity thought that, oh, of course there will be an mp4 file, but uh, 
it weren't, it were a .ts file which I could not edit in my editing software. So I had to convert it and I hope it works, it probably did because otherwise you wouldn't be able to have seen this video because it wouldn't have been put out there on the YouTube, yes indeed. But I will check the settings once again and see if I can choose a different file format for the end product. Otherwise it will be a hassle every time I are gonna record something with that little uh, device, yes indeed. Otherwise I could always use OBS Studio as well so if you are experienced with OBS you could totally use that instead and it will be fine of course I have not tried it out with OBS just yet but I will try to do that soon enough and of course I will come a more in-depth review of this little guy in the future overall I paid 85 euros for this little device and it performed splendidly for the price you know and I do not think that you need to spend a hell of a lot of cash on something for it to work properly you can get good quality and good products out of a cheaper price tag. I had my eyes on the Elgato capturing cards, you know, they have some in the lower price range and in the higher price range. But the one in the lower price range were not available when I should order it and it didn't seem like it should come back in stock so I could order it, you know. So I started looking around for another capture card that, you know, did the same thing with the same almost quality and I found this little Aver Media guy and it worked like a charm, yes indeed. However, you can't get over 30 frames per second when you are recording your gameplay, but you can however get up to 60 frames per second when you are streaming it, so I'm sure if you have some sort of computer magic going on you can totally utilize that as well, you know, to get 60 frames per second when you are recording also. But what do you think about this little guy? Does it have adequate quality for you to buy it or do you want to spend your money elsewhere? For me at least, I thought it were money well spent for what I should use it for. So thank you so much for watching my darlings and I hope this little unboxing slash haul slash review were quite fun and informative indeed. And if you didn't find it informative, tell me down below or hit that like or dislike button. And while you are doing that, even if you dislike the video, you can always press that like, subscribe and notification icon down below with all notifications turned on so you can become a part of the Darling Squad and the Degasmo family as well. Yes indeed. I want you here no matter if you are a hater or a lover. Yes indeed. As always, before we go, be who you are since no one else can. And I see you in the next one. Bye.